Mr. Braun, I like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of my many friends, also to my many enemies, whenever you happen to be watching this video. This is another episode of Roosevelt Sounds Off, and on today's video, I want to deal with a topic that has been trending. Well, actually, it's sort of a follow-up from a video that I caught on Facebook around last week or so. It was a video of a young lady um, in Baltimore, Maryland, who was put out of a hospital in the middle of the night in nothing but a hospital gown and socks. And there was a man who came along and videotaped the whole thing. And basically, you know, he acted sort of as her guardian angel, you know, kept people from like doing anything to her and everything, even called the police and called the ambulance or something because I mean, it was, I think it's completely wrong for this hospital to put this young lady out of the hospital in the middle of the night um, in nothing but a hospital gown and just tube socks. And it was cold that night. But um, I'm going to cut to a video in a second and um, show you a little bit of this. And this comes from a video that he had taken. And ever since then, this video has gone viral and people have been... Um, you know, looking at this and giving their reaction and even um, you're going to see in the clip the hospital's reaction when it comes down to this video because I think that, you know, head should roll, so to speak. And I actually believe somebody needs to answer for this and somebody needs to be accountable for this and somebody actually needs to address this. But I'm going to cut to the video and then I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The CEO just wrapped up his press conference less than a half an hour ago. He started by apologizing to the patient and saying this incident doesn't define who they are. The patient was not discharged because she did not have insurance or money to pay, he said, and they take full responsibility for their failures. We believe firmly that we provided appropriate medical care to a patient who came to us in need but where we absolutely failed and where we own that failure is in the demonstration of basic humanity and compassion as a patient was being discharged from our organization after having uh, received that care. They say individuals will be held accountable but could not provide any more details. We spoke to one woman, though, who has a glimpse of what it was like inside the ER that night. Come and sit down. The video has gone viral. A woman escorted out of the University of Maryland Midtown campus and left at a bus stop with nothing but a hospital gown and socks. I was disgusted. And when I think the video, I'm looking like, well, dang, that's the lady I seen in the hospital. Tania Y says she was in the emergency room at the same time as the woman and saw one interaction between the woman and a nurse that she calls disturbing. She was sitting like on the ground, like in the hospital floor, and they was telling her to get up. It's not how she, it was not what she was saying, it was how she was saying, like really very nasty. Like talking to her, you know how like when you're fussing at your child, like get up, get off the floor like that, you ain't no child. Y says she could tell the woman was disoriented, didn't understand what they were saying, and was not able to verbally communicate with them. She didn't see the woman after that exchange until she saw the video. Eleven News spoke to the woman's mother, who says her daughter is 22 years old and has a history of mental illness. A family friend says she's schizophrenic and on the autism spectrum. It is absolutely unacceptable. Patrick Moran is the president of the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees. That organization has been outspoken on the need in the state for more available beds for mental health patients. Moran says this video is a sad example of that. She should have been at one of the state's mental health facilities in a bed being medicated uh, with a treatment plan to get her stabilized and, and moving forward. The hospital released a statement saying in part, quote, this unfortunate event is not representative of our patient-centered mission. While there are many circumstances of this patient's case that we cannot address publicly, in the end, we clearly failed to fulfill our mission with this patient. We are taking this matter very seriously, conducting a thorough review, and are evaluating the appropriate response, including the possibility of personnel action, end quote. For Tania Wise, the solution is simple. I feel like she deserved an apology. She deserved to, you know, get some type of help. They should help her. 
Now, this is the bus shelter right here where she was left uh, at night along Howard Street and the light rail tracks. Now, as far as the patient goes, her mother says she has been taken to another hospital where she is receiving treatment. Reporting live in Midtown, Kim Day, CWBAL TV 11 News. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully you all watched and enjoyed that clip. And it falls under the category of fair use, by the way. Okay, let's go in. Um, now, I was very shocked and surprised and even a little bit outraged when I saw this video last week on Facebook. And it's a good thing that this man, I think his name is Imamba Baraka, was there that night to look over this young lady. Because, I mean, she could have easily fell prey to just anybody. And I don't understand the inhumanity of the hospital putting her out there in, you know, cold temperatures. When it's cold outside and nothing but a hospital gown and tube socks and she's completely naked up under the gown. I mean, you know, for real. You know, dude, really? Who does that? And anything could have happened to her. And I, I feel that this was completely wrong because if you are in a service profession, meaning that anytime you're a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, a teacher, police officer, your job is to help people not to make their lives more bitter, not to make their lives worse, but to help them. And I even saw a HLN interview that, you know, HLN, the news channel has done with her mother and her mother's attorney, and I hope for the record that the mother's attorney and the mother and the family sue the mess out of the hospital. And, um, you know, because I, I believe that head should roll. I believe that there needs to be some responsibility. I believe that there needs to be some accountability on the behalf of the administrator, on the behalf of any kind of a charge nurse, on the behalf of the doctor, on the behalf of security, anybody who had the thought to put her out in the cold and nothing but just her, you know, um, you know, uh, a, a, a coat or a little lab coat or something, a hospital gown and some tube socks. I believe it was just completely wrong. And the mother's attorney said that, that what, whatever the hospital did, it actually made her condition worse than what it was. And so, no, th th these people did not help her the way that they were supposed to. And what I would like to know from the hospital is why was she put out anyway? I mean, you see, you said that the lady, you know, in the press conference with the administrator of the hospital, he admitted that she had insurance. There was no inability to pay. So why was she put out? I mean, I don't understand that. Who does that? Who puts somebody out in the hospital in the middle of the night when, you know, it's, it's, it's so stupid and so inhumane to me and it's just so wrong. Uh, and I believe that, you know, people's heads should roll. And by the way, you know, tonight I just found out this lady's young, this a young lady's name. Her name is Rebecca Chandler. So, you know, we have to say her name. We have to, you know, give all victims, no matter what kind of, you know, victim that they are, we have to give all of them justice and we do have to acknowledge them by their name because us as YouTube content creators, you know, us, you know, who could be in news media or whatever, you know, a whole lot of times and everything, you know, we do a whole lot of these stories, but sometimes we don't attach the name to it. But now I'm attaching a name to this video because it's important that we say her name, Rebecca Chandler, someone who deserves justice, someone who deserves to be treated fairly. I don't care what kind of condition or what kind of bag that she was in. She didn't deserve to be put out of the hospital in the middle of the night. And I hope that the mother and the family sue the hospital. Heads need to actually roll. And I believe that the state of Maryland actually needs to take a look at a hospital that does some treatment of a patient or resident just like this. So right now, that's where I am going to leave it. If anybody has anything to say, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. That way you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So for now, that's where I'm going to leave it. Hopefully, I'll see everybody on the next video. Peace and blessings to all.